I, I am just devastated. Lewis was my godson. A heartbreaking story. New at 11, the family of the young boy who tragically died after a truck crashed into his home is speaking out. According to the California Highway Patrol, 11-year-old Luis Lopez was sleeping in his room when a man driving approximately 40 miles per hour hit a propane tank, which propelled him into the house. And tonight, we are learning the family has been hit by tragedy not once, not twice, but three times in recent years. Heartbreak is tearing through this home in Madeira, a place where 11-year-old Luis Lopez was sleeping when a truck crashed into his room early Saturday morning. Lopez was killed, leaving his family and community reeling from the tragic loss. My stomach is in knots. My head hurts. His aunt Alex Aguilar, who lives in Maryland, spoke with us over the phone. She says her nephew was a very respectful and responsible young boy. She adds he loved soccer and had big dreams for his future. He was a really, really good soccer player. He's been playing since he was very little. Um, he was a straight A student at school. He wanted he wanted to grow up and be a doctor. Aguilar says her nephew had three siblings, one brother and two sisters. His mom is doing her best to comfort them while also grieving the sudden death of her son. She's doing okay, you know, trying to stay strong for the rest of his siblings. And, you know, obviously still in shock. It's just unbelievable what happened. Back in 2009, Lopez's uncle, Raul Moncada, was killed while in Iraq after an explosive device detonated near his vehicle. Then in 2014, his grandfather was killed in an accident with an Amtrak train in Madeira County. Aguilar says they are getting by with the support of the community. They were there for my brother's passing. They were there for us when my dad passed and now this. So, you know, we're very, very grateful. And Lopez's brother Matthew was also injured in the crash and taken to Valley Children's Hospital. He is now at home recovering from his injuries. The 36-year-old driver of the truck died and authorities say he suffered from a seizure. We reached out to his family, but they asked for privacy during this difficult time.